He strode boldly into the hall, precisely in a deserted area with no one in sight. Salm Kang hid behind the bushes, holding a brick in his hand, his face full of anger, staring at him with pure resentment. Found you, Kim Taehyung. That day, I clearly saved M. Jin. Fame and beauty should belong to me. Indeed, being overshadowed by a girl can cloud one's judgment. Salm Kang tightly gripped the brick, and the veins on his forehead became prominent. You suddenly appeared on the road and took credit, taking M. Jin from me. First, I'll knock you out. Then, chop off one of your legs. Salm Kang emerged from behind, his face looking demonic, raising the brick high, intending to smash it onto his head. Watch how you steal my girl. He continued to walk unperturbed, and Salm Kang swung the brick down. He exerted all his strength, but in the end, it only hit the residual image of him. It seemed like he already knew Salm Kang was hiding behind the bushes, so he relied on his nimbleness to evade the attack. With his long arm, he reached over Salm Kang's armpit, looped it around his head, and placed his hand on the top of his head. Salm Kang, feeling this, was bewildered. Ha! Huh. He used only one move to defeat Salm Kang, and he looked quite dashing doing it. Salm Kang was knocked down, and now his whole body lay flat on the ground, his face acting as a support, realizing that it hurt just by looking at it, not to mention experiencing it. After finishing the fight, he finally learned the identity of the person, you are, I remember now. You're that girl's classmate. He crossed his arms and looked down at Salm Kang, questioning. Why did you sneak attack me? Salm Kang lying on the ground still hadn't realized how strong he was. Unable to retreat, he kept babbling. You, how dare you injure my face and steal my credit and my girl. He was confused. Your girl? This guy was clearly making things up and falling madly in love. Song Kang's face swelled on one side, his eyes wide open, with red streaks, continuously growling loudly as if he wanted the whole world to hear. It's that jerk M. Jin. I've been pursuing her for so long, and she still doesn't like me. His face was hateful at first sight. Who could stand him? Not to mention he had no talent. Meanwhile, the girl he pursued was the top swimmer in the country, attracting attention wherever she went. Don't climb too high and fall painfully. He continued. You don't even know her name, yet she blushes because of you. Laughing at how people choose their partners is their business. Getting angry about someone else's status is unnecessary. This jerk usually acts so high and mighty, I should have just pushed him into the water. This was the type of person who couldn't handle criticism. As soon as he finished speaking, he couldn't tolerate the disgusting words pouring out of his mouth, so he used his foot to kick him in the face. Fortunately, the rock was in the middle of his face likely wearing glasses, and he kicked him until he fainted, then tossed him into the roadside garbage dump. Looking at him now, it seemed like this was truly his rightful place. After finishing, he walked away, his index finger constantly picking at his ear. Garbage should be thrown in the trash. School dance, and suddenly a few girls appear a bit surprised, especially Shin Hai, whose happiness is evident on her face. It turns out you came here. Shin Hai approaches you, asking, Kim Tae-young, why are you here? Hearing that, you only state your purpose for coming, because I heard there would be a great performance. Hearing this, Shin Hai is curious, waiting for you for so long, I thought you wanted to dance with me. Hearing that, you comply with Shin Hai's suggestion, pulling her close to you. Sure. Your action makes Shin Hai feel a bit embarrassed. The two of you dance together, truly a handsome couple. Kim Tae-young, turns out you're good at dancing. You silently think to yourself, after increasing all attributes, there are many advantages. The author is quite favorable to you. The two dancing together looks very appealing to the audience. People standing outside, even those who are dancing, can't help but turn their gaze towards the two. Wow, so handsome. And the dance is beautiful. After finishing the dance, a girl in a charming pink dress steps forward, capturing the attention of both of you. The girl initiates a conversation with you. Handsome guy, I'd like to invite you for a dance. Hearing this, Shin Hai immediately intervenes. It's a bit inconvenient. I still want to continue dancing with Kim Taehyun. You can wait for a while. Ignoring Shin Hai's words, the girl disagrees. Sister, you've been dancing for so long. It's better to take a break. Two girls were arguing over you, and you were being pulled away by other girls who wanted to dance with you incessantly. Kim Taehyun, the student president, your dancing skills are amazing. Can you? 
Kim Tae Dong, the student president, dance with me. On the other side, Shin Hai saw her Kim Tae Young being snatched away by those girls, making her furious. She wanted to run up and tear those girls apart. Some boys witnessing this couldn't help but feel jealous. Hated, so jealous. Isn't this about saving someone? And the good deed falls on him. Disgusting. What is this kid Kim Tae Young doing? Isn't he famous as a playboy? Why are those girls surrounding him? The jealous boys kept speaking ill of you. The president even said he would reward him. Is he worthy? Right, the president is too good. The student president, holding two beer cans, approached. Don't say that Kim Tae Young really saved someone. Right. This student president was truly good at buttering people up. He approached you, handed you a beer can, which seemed to have been tampered with by him. Kim Tae Young, the school needs excellent students like you, is set an example for us. I am Yun Ha Newell, the student president, representing the student council and all students. Cheers to you. You looked at the beer can in his hand, suspicion in your eyes, even though you knew he had played some tricks. You remained silent. The student president noticed that you hesitated to take the beer can for a while. So he asked, Why? The guy behind you smirked, lips curling, president, offering a toast. He doesn't want him to show off. People behind you couldn't stop gossiping and continuously commented, indeed, lacking a bit of courtesy. You took the beer can with a smile, saying, the president personally offers a toast, how could I refuse? Then, you drank the beer in one go. The president was extremely pleased. Well done. Shin Hai, seeing you like that, got worried. Are you okay? Some girls watching were enchanted. Great drinking capacity. As for the jealous boys, they were irritated. Ha, huh, acting like it's something. A moment ago, someone said not drinking is impolite. And now they say drinking is showing off. Truly excessive. Don't know how to please these people. The student president wore a sly smile. After you finished drinking, he immediately invited you to the rest area. Kim Tae Young, I actually have something to discuss with you related to the student council. Please come this way. You satisfied him by following, curious about what scheme he had in mind. I'll socialize with the president for a bit. In the conference room, you and the student president entered. As soon as you stepped in, you were taken aback. The president, with a cunning smile, revealed the situation. On the sofa lay Jin Gu, seemingly drugged and brought here by the president to execute his plan. It turned out to be the innocent girl from the swimming pool. Her face looked flushed. You approached, using your hand to support your head. It seems she has a fever, and I'm feeling a bit dizzy too. The student president behind you, with a solemn gaze, advanced. Suddenly, you collapsed next to Jin Gu. Could it be that he had managed to knock you out? Despite this, the student president had already arranged the cameras in advance, a satisfied expression on his face. Well done, the cameras are functioning normally, everything is ready. He left the room, remembering to lock the door, Kim Tae Hyung. This time, you can enjoy it slowly. At this moment, outside the auditorium, people below looked up at the platform, gossiping and buzzing. Wasn't the award ceremony supposed to start? Why hasn't it begun yet? The student president had already stepped onto the platform. Everyone, please take your seats. Kim Tae Young, our fellow student will be here shortly. It's almost time. In his heart, he was endlessly satisfied. The drug must be taking effect. Everyone can't resist that kind of medication, not to mention you. As if knowing, he raised his hand and declared, because our fellow student Kim Tae Young wants to express his thoughts through the screen. So please look at the screen, and now, let's welcome Kim Tae Young. People sitting below were full of anticipation, their eyes and expressions eagerly awaiting. Suddenly, Shin Hai and everyone were shocked. Up there, those two, a guy and a girl, are embracing each other in the room, with constant heavy breathing. The girl is Jin Gu, but who is the boy? It's a pity for an innocent girl to fall victim to someone else's scheming. It truly goes beyond decency. This incident could shatter a lifetime and the self-esteem of a young girl. A boy below pointed to the screen. President, take a look quickly. Hearing that, the president hurriedly turned around to watch. He even put on a shocked face, as if he had no connection to the situation at all. Oh my God, Kim Tae Young, what are you doing? The president on the upper floor shouted, this is live, I know you're comfortable, but can't you restrain yourself a bit? Clearly, this person was adding fuel to the fire, 
and people below were disgusted with you. This guy is too disgusting. Quickly go to the conference room and arrest him. It's truly maddening. People kept blaming you. I knew Kim Taehyung was this kind of person. This Kim Taehyung, growing up poor and inexperienced, saved the classmate by chance, gained fame, and immediately turned immoral. This is the beginning of becoming rich and engaging in unethical behavior. Just by looking at his appearance, I knew he wasn't a good person. These people were obviously biased. Isn't he still ambiguous with a female student? Disgusting. In our school, we can't tolerate people like Kim Taehyung. These male students cursed excessively, and the president pretended, covering his mouth with his hand. Kim Taehyung, you disappointed me. The crowd below reacted. That's right. Quickly expel Kim Taehyung from the school. Make him drop out. This president was truly cunning. He had a satisfied smile. This smile seemed as if it had never been laughed before. Indeed, he was savoring this feeling. This was the ultimate enjoyment. This president might have some madness in him. Suddenly, you appeared, smiling. It seems like I missed the good performance. A foot stepped down, and the president, who was joyful, also became astonished. He was now confused. His eyes clearly showed the veins popping. It seemed that things were not going according to his plan. You casually stepped onto the platform. I just went to the restroom. Why is it so lively here? You asked, knowing exactly what was happening. Seems like everyone wants someone to drop out of school. You stepped out in front of everyone, in a very relaxed state. What's going on? Why does the president look terrified when he sees me? The president stood in front of you like encountering a ghost. People below were curious, confused about what was happening. What's going on? What's the situation? The president was sweating profusely, with a pale face, anxiously and nervously asking you, You're here, so who is in there? You smirked, confidently acting, as if it had nothing to do with you. How would I know? This is not the performance the president arranged. You wanted to pressure this president to reveal the truth. Looking back at the screen, the camera had shifted to the video inside, and it was Song Kang. He was hugging a dummy resembling Jin Gu, pressing his body against it, and speaking passionately. People below pointed at the screen. Look, that person is the one. Isn't that Kim Taehyung? Song Kang was getting closer to the dummy. He wanted to embrace the dummy he imagined as Jin Gu, wanting to kiss it. Are you comfortable, M. Jin? Is it true that you won't leave me anymore? Has the last woman finally become sincere? People around below screamed, not knowing who Song Kang was. Who is this guy? I recognize him. His name is Song Kang. He has been pursuing M. Jin for a long time. Why is he here? You looked at the screen, involuntarily smiling, recalling what happened ten minutes ago, after you were drugged by the president. But no one knew that you had a golden hand system, capable of detecting poisons, activating high school-level passive physical skills, and antidote synthesis. The effect of the poison had worn off, and the cooldown time for this passive skill was 12 hours. After being detoxified, you stood up confidently in the room filled with cameras, looking around. The girl was unconscious, the cameras were in place, and there was a locked room. It was clear that they wanted to harm you. Presenting the situation like this was quite blatant. However, being a mature young man, you carried Jin Gu. Then, you effortlessly opened the door with a bang, using almost no strength. Yet with the strength of this high school level body, the door felt like glue. Entering the bathroom, you gently sat Jin Gu on the tub. Jin Gu was still unconscious, unaware of what was happening. It seemed she had been given a substantial amount of sleeping pills and couldn't wake up in a short time. Placing her in the women's restroom, you ensured Yilin Han Nul and his gang wouldn't easily find her. Afterwards, you went back to the trash area where Song Kang was still hugging the trash can his face showing signs of distress, muttering, M. Jin, M. Jin. Seeing him like that, you crossed your arms in satisfaction. Well done. This is the actor's self-discipline. Acting skillfully while unconscious is quite impressive. You placed Song Kang on the sofa as before. He remained oblivious, unconscious, having no idea what was happening. The actor was in position. You even brought out the beer can that had been spiked. The president has put in a lot of effort, arranging a grand performance for himself. How can we let him waste this effort? And just like that, you had him finish the entire beer. Then, you placed a fake wig resembling Jin Bu's hair on him. With everything set, you dusted off your hands. 
The fake wig had transitioned from the dressing room. Even having a similar hairstyle, you casually commented, Now, all we have to do is wait for the fun to unfold. The great performance is about to begin. You and the president both looked up at the screen. You even casually draped your arm over the president's shoulder. This guy's taste is really something. Daring to fight a mannequin. The president was bewildered, stammering, No, no, no. From the screen, Song Kang's voice echoed, Fearless, aren't I, am Jin. Witness my prowess. People below continued to chatter incessantly. He even stripped off all his clothes. This has nothing to do with me. The enraged president turned foolishly angry, his eyes red as if about to bleed. He blurted out in frustration, impossible, impossible. Clearly, I saw you fall on M. Jin. This level of stupidity, even the author is bowing to you in a match. Hearing that, you smiled and gazed at the student president intently. Oh, so you won't fight, but you'll confess voluntarily? The student president, realizing he had spoken too soon, hurriedly covered his mouth. People below eagerly anticipated the drama. Their eyes wide open in amazement, mouths agape. You gradually approached the student president, wanting to corner him completely. Come on, spill the details. How did you see me fall on M. Jin? The student president, increasingly pressured by you, lost the handsome demeanor from earlier. Now his face only displayed horror. You flashed a sinister smile, your eyes dark, as if intending to punch him to death. Weren't you just babbling away earlier? Why so silent now? The student president had no idea how to respond. At that moment, the hall door swung open, and Mr. J, the head teacher, entered. He strode in with an air of authority, paying no attention to anyone else. Such chaos. I'm Mr. J, the head of the literature department, the strictest and longest-serving teacher in the school. Mr. J was oblivious to the details of the situation, but directed his anger toward you, scolding, you shouldn't interfere with student affairs, let alone interrogate the student council president. Students like you, lacking the ambition to progress, shouldn't be part of the student union. Did the student president mistake a strange person? This Mr. J was really going too far, clearly wanting to defend the student president and sink you, without understanding the full story. You crossed your arms, smiling, paying no attention to his words. Boldly, you retorted, mistaken identity. So if he claims to have seen me fall on M. Jin, how is the teacher planning to justify that? Your sharp words and clear evidence didn't sway him, as he still held on to his self-righteous stance, pointing directly at you. President Newell works diligently, carefully following every detail. Commendation is reserved for students like you. Instead of adhering to the program's arrangements and easily participating in the conference room, you performed this disgusting and disgraceful act tarnishing the school's reputation and disrupting the educational environment. You must be disciplined to be able to face the teachers and students throughout the school. This Mr. J was quite skilled in sophistry, truly capable of justifying anything. Below, two lackeys of the student president signaled each other with their eyes, continuously speaking ill of you to those around them, trying to rally public opinion against you, committing such a serious mistake and only receiving discipline. We can't accept it. We think the president is undeserving. Kim Taevyeon must quit school immediately. He must stop attending to vent our anger for everyone. Up above, you crossed your arms, looking down at the people below, unaware of the continuous chant, quit school, quit school. This group shouted louder and grew more fervent. Quit school, quit school. Shin Hai, witnessing this inexplicable situation, was incredibly astonished and worried for you. What happened to you all? Clearly, the president harmed Kim Taehyung. The student president smirked, placing his hand on your shoulder and smiling. I bribed the head teacher already. Those students below are also part of the student council. They all belong to me. How will you confront me now? You, indifferent to his words, observed the two villains colluding, as if they were providing a backdrop for your charisma. The president pointed at you, giving orders. Kim Taehyung wants to escape. The disciplinary team catch him quickly. Upon hearing this, the two members of the disciplinary team approached. They tried to grab you, but you stood your ground, unmoving. The president, with an evil smile, rushed to punch you in the face. This is what Kim Taehyung is really like. A little resistance gives me a reason to beat you up. As he attempted to strike you, your hand intercepted his punch, leaving him in disbelief. The president was lifted up by your hand, struggling in pain. The disciplinary members kept pulling you, 
but you remained unfazed, smiling. What's the rush? The important part of the drama is just beginning. Head teacher Jay shouted loudly. This villain has started a fight. Security guards, quickly hold him down. Hearing this, the guards rushed in, wielding their batons, eager to strike you. You look coldly at them, and suddenly, a loud voice interrupted. Stop. The scream made everyone freeze. Three figures approached, with the leading person using a cane being the principal of the school. Principal. Head teacher Jay, with a bald head, stepped forward. Principal, why are you here? You released the student president upon seeing the principal, expressing your anger. I arrived late, and now an unresolved issue has occurred. Head teacher Jay pointed at you, and both he and the student president smirked maliciously. Exactly, exactly. This student has caused a significant incident, affecting the school's reputation. We've decided to expel him, but due to the severe impact of his actions, we still need to take him into custody. This person could indeed say anything, even the most foolish things. The principal, losing his composure, swung his cane at head teacher Jay's face. The student president, witnessing this, was incredibly surprised. He could hardly believe his eyes. This is terrible. The principal, holding the cane, pointed at head teacher Jay's face, whose actions are terrible. It's because there's a teacher like you who takes bribes. That's what tarnishes the school's reputation. Head teacher Jay, now with a swollen face from the beating, was at a loss for words. The student president quickly knelt on the ground, grabbing the principal's hand. Principal. Principal, there's a mistake. The troublemaker is Kim Taehyung. Head teacher Jay is just helping him. Despite the situation, this person continued to be unrepentant, still able to mumble nonsense. Next to the principal was a member of the wealthy chat group. He vented his anger by kicking the student president in the face declaring, there's no place for you to talk here. The student president was kicked backward and head teacher Jay knelt on the ground, continuously pleading with the principal. Principal, he is the heir of the Newell family. The Yun Seo building in our school is Yun Seo. His father contributed to its construction. Hearing these inaccuracies from an educator, the principal became furious, jabbing his cane into head teacher Jay, making him tumble on the ground like a pig. Shut your mouth. Seeing head teacher Jay in this state, Park Young Woo, standing beside you, both looked down at him, questioning, Is this a grand ceremony, head teacher Jay? Head teacher Jay looked up, tears streaming down. You, you're Park Young Woo, from the Park family, one of the major shareholders of Yonsei University. So, you and Kim Tae Young are like this, like this. The principal placed his hand on your shoulder, proudly declaring, Now I announce, the act of bribing head teacher Jay of Yun Han Newell has severely damaged the reputation of Yonsei University. The school council unanimously decides to dismiss and expel both individuals as a punishment. Hearing this announcement from the principal, everyone was stunned into silence. The principal looked at you and smiled. Fortunately, our Yonsei University has outstanding students like Kim Taehyung, who can rid the school of pests and restore its purity. He is the light of our school. This principal was indeed eloquent, but he was also trying to strengthen ties with you. At this moment, head teacher Jay and the student president were overshadowed by your significant influence. The crowd below was in disarray. Why is it like this? We've been deceived. The president and Jay, the head, are the real villains. What's going on? Forty minutes ago, the installed cameras recorded close-up footage of everything he had done. Currently, it was being projected on the hall screen. He pointed to the screen, saying, Just watch this, and you'll understand. Inside, the president held Jin Gu on the sofa. The girl drank a drugged glass of water without any suspicion. Then, the president approached the camera to adjust for a close up. He even didn't forget to mockingly say, Kim Tae wouldn't have thought someone would harm him, even if he died. Who said I'm perfect? The student council and this whole school can only be like ants looking up at me. This person is truly foolish to the point that no one can tolerate. If you've done it, why not keep quiet? Why boast like this? The people below, upon seeing this video, were furious. So, he's that kind of person. It's truly disgusting. This two-faced creature dares to deceive us. People kept throwing things at him, wanting him to leave. I've always suspected he's a malicious scoundrel. Indeed he is. I've also been victimized by him, but without evidence I endured. Enjoyed pretending, huh? Teared his face apart, 
Expel him from school. No forgiveness. Let him sit in jail. A beating is inevitable. The student president was being pelted with garbage at this moment. He knelt down on the ground, and the whole world seemed to have collapsed for him. He had no words left to deny or defend himself. It's over. I've lost everything. All because of Kim Taehyung's betrayal. It's not like he hadn't caused harm, for what goes around comes around, and in the end, he would face consequences. The current student president, devoid of reason, wanted to vent his anger on him. Drawing a knife from his person, he lunged forward, intent on stabbing him. Kim Taehyung, I'm willing to die with you. He remained frozen, showing no reaction. Swiftly, he used his agility to snatch the knife from the president's hand and kicked him down the platform. He exuded an air of confidence and dominance. His gaze descended upon the fallen president, a triumphant smile on his face. President Newell, it's time to step down from the stage. The president lay sprawled under the stage, surrounded by onlookers. He lay there dazed, and what goes around comes around. The people he had harmed tore at his clothes, pulled his hair, and yanked down his pants without holding back. Enjoy playing the victim. Pay for it now. Tear him apart and see how you perform. The president, suffering at the hands of those he had wronged, pleaded for forgiveness amid tears. No. At this moment, he appeared utterly forlorn, even more pitiable than someone who had tasted something extremely bitter, with foam at the corners of their mouth. It seemed that those around him were a bit excessive. Hemph, you think you're fit to be the student president? It's far from over. He dared to drug a female student. He should be sent to jail. The crowd, swayed by the prevailing sentiment, turned to look at the three on the platform. Principal, the student council leads to quickly elect a new president. The principal approached, leaning on a cane, and stood beside him, placing a hand on his shoulder. Kim Tae-young, you're courageous and just, helping the school eliminate two harmful elements. The position of the student council president is yours if you want it. Upon hearing this, he was a bit surprised and the people below were even more astonished, but still supportive. The principal's recommendation is powerful, a swift rise. I support him. He walked over to the shoulders of the two people next to him, expressing gratitude. Thank you for the principal's praise. This time, it was thanks to Tahi's timely discovery of the plot, and Mr. Park promptly informed you. Otherwise, the consequences would have been unpredictable. He passionately nominated Tahi. Principal, the position of president should be held by someone capable. Tahi previously served as the head of the organization committee in the student council, only to be unfairly expelled by the president. Tahi has both talent and capability, and I believe the presidency should belong to him. To hold such a burdensome position, I have no interest. It turns out that this was his true purpose.